many times do you start a drawing? Maybe you, you create a new drawing from scratch and you just draw a circle or you draw a rectangle. All right, so I'm just going to draw a rectangle here. And typically when you do that, that first point that you picked is somewhere in space. It could be, you know, out however many decimal places. And you pick the other point. If you're not entering values, then it's at some other random point. It might be close to what you want, but it's not exact. It's got all these decimal places following it. Notice as I'm drawing right here that it's actually giving me uh, specific values. It's rounding to 0, 0 as my decimal places. Now, if I zoom in, it's going to give me more increments. So it's, it's adaptive to your, your display, how far you're zoomed in or out. This saves a lot of typing. Nearest distance was great for if I know the value and I want to type it in. But there's many times that I may just want something kind of close to it, but I don't want it to be some crazy decimal value, right? So this is a great tool for that. And I think you'll find in multiple places where this is useful. For example, if I select the um, select this block here, this sofa. Now, if I use the um, manipulator, it actually displays, when I click on an axis here, it actually displays this ruler telling me what the increment is. So just moving this, I'm not eyeballing it anymore if I want to move it a little. It's actually going to some grid value depending how far I zoom in or zoom out. And you'll see it in multiple places. If you, there's a new nudge tool in BricsCAD. So I select an object, and then using my uh, control and arrow keys, I can nudge that object up or down. So I'm pressing my arrow keys up, down, left, and right. And it's not just going at some random value. It depends how far zoomed in or zoomed out I'm going. So it's really contextual to how you're working. Mm -hmm.